Hey, Derek here at Castaway Studios. Uh, in the lockdown series, tonight I'll be doing uh, a live stream that I embeds a Zoom room, I guess, or a Zoom conference for people to join in uh, by clicking a link and becoming part of the stream. Uh, Kay will also be putting uh, music through a turntable into that. Um, and what you can see right now is my head through the actual Zoom meeting software that's appearing in OBS and then getting uh, streamed out, or in this case, recorded. Let's get into that straight after this. Well, here I am in my lonely studio. Uh, okay, it's getting used a little bit for children's education and various things like that. I've um, adapted pretty quickly in setting up uh, streaming, which I planned to get absolutely nailed down before anyone knew what was happening. But, I mean, one of the advantages of uh, this lockdown uh, coronavirus situation is that uh, people are fairly understanding of glitches and uh, trials and experiments. So today I'm just going to run you down my, the way I've set it up for tonight's stream. So the main thing is is OBS. So that's the core of what I'm doing now. And I'm going to give you a little peep if I can get this right I'll give you a little peep now it's a bit surreal because the OBS screen is what you can see and I'll put it into studio mode so that it's not as weird and then get my face back into the the le at least the left side so on the right side is what's what's being recorded uh, and and I'm seeing just this bit here that you can see there. All right, so that's the Zoom screen. So I've got various things ready and I'll click on them and you will see without it changing, hopefully. So that's my pre, um, that's my pre stream. So you can start the stream and uh, make sure it's working before anything actually happens. You can put countdowns and things on those. That's not a problem. Uh, that is one without sound. Then I've duplicated that uh, to have audio. So that would have, uh, if, if I transition that across to the main uh, thing, then that it would add the audio. So I could put some music through or make an announcement or something like that. You've seen the intro. So I've got a button, the Castaway intro, which I don't use during streaming. Uh, and then you've got this. So... Let's go over this screen here. This, what we have there, it's a Zoom meeting. So if you look on, if you look on the right side here, you've got some text which is turned off. All right, so it's just some text left over from another thing. I leave it there. So if I want to type something onto the screen, uh, I can, and then and then throw it across there and make it visible. All right, so the castaway watermark. That's just a little frame I have around the edge with my little logo on it. The Zoom meeting 2, that Rode 202, that's the audio. So it's the Rodecaster Pro that's coming in through here. And then there's the PTZ Pro, which is turned off in this instance. So OBS is not looking at the camera that's looking at me now. Zoom is looking at that camera. Zoom is taking that camera and adding it uh, as my part of a Zoom meeting. OBS is taking the display window that I've, I've chosen for Zoom. So if I do a dodgy experiment here, you'll see I'm changing there. That's me resizing the Zoom window on the other display, which I will show you right now. Right. So this is my other display that's over there. And you can see I've set up a meeting, uh, probably giving away a few passwords and stuff right now, but it doesn't it doesn't really matter at this stage, all right? Because by the time you see this, it'll be over. 
All right, so I've got the meeting pre-prepared, which means, uh, and I've clicked that, and I've started the preempted, and I've started the meeting. So when I hover over it, you'll see all the settings here. So I always start my meetings unmuted, uh, muted, sorry, so that I they don't kick off, and then uh, me bickering with my family or whatever <laughs> peers or anything uh, worse than that. And this over here, you see uh, your choice of video camera okay I've uh, they kind of they kind of take if I stop the video my logo comes up they kind of take it in turns OBS and various things will will battle I haven't quite worked out if there's a resolution or it's just life so I will nominate this uh, this webcam here it's just a 922 Logitech as the zoom as the one for the zoom meeting and then OBS I can get all the PTZs and anything I want and the um, the Canon EOS uh, to roll so you will see all of this around here manage participants and all that so if all goes well when I start my stream I will drop a link a hyperlink for people to just click and it will if they haven't used zoom already it will download a little app, a little app or something like that and then they will appear on there and i will become smaller and they will um share the screen and up to god knows how many people i think you can have 100 people i don't know how many on the screen probably not that much good after about 30 i'd say and it gets crazy so you've got that option if there's a bunch of people and you're doing that um for content then you'd mute all and you'd sit there you, if you you choose someone ask them a question unmute them ask them a question unmute them while you're asking them and then and then it's not going to be a, a, an accumulation of 20 or 30 uh, background noises and chaos and you know kids screaming and dogs barking and stuff because in lockdown everyone's at home aren't they well a lot of people are all right, so that's the Zoom meeting on that screen. So I'm going to take you back to this uh, this screen, and what what we have here is uh, on the left side the that's the, that's the Zoom. So this is the Zoom meeting, right? So if you look at the uh, sources, you've got what we looked at before. There's the Zoom meeting number two, and you can see it uh, outlined there. And I have used uh, with OBS. I like the uh, on the PC. You Alt hold Alt down, and you can pull this uh, marquee box down, and it crops. And you can do it on the right side and the left side. But in this case, it takes away the um, all the information and all the all, all the sort of running gear, if you like, from the Zoom meeting. And then, so what I've done, I'll, I'll run you through it. So I've gone. Um, not display capture, but window capture, right? And you start a new window capture, and then you open that up, um, and you'll get a, a selection of different things. You'll get a few zooms. That'll be the main zoom, which is what I showed you. There's that white bit, the, the main choice. Once your meeting's open, you'll see them all show up. So you go through that till you find one, the one that's the actual meeting. I'm going to cancel out of there. It looks like it's too late, and I've put it in twice. That's great. How do I get that off? There it is, window capture. All right, so I'll delete that now or later on. I'm going to be very, very confused. All right, so that's what you do, and then you resize it and put it in there. Of course, you can, you know, you can do things like make the Zoom meeting smaller and have, you know, have your background. I tried that last week, so you could see my record player and things like that. Uh, the rest, the little splash up the top left, it's just, uh, it's just a little graphic. Uh, and that's about it really as long as one little tip though before doing anything I run through every single except the intro and keep talking and keep talking because one thing that I always do well every now and again is forget to put the audio the Rodecaster Pro input into one of the channels so you're doing it recording a big long video and you um, accidentally um, 
you know, suddenly go silent and you miss out on what you're going on about. So I'm going to pull out a studio mo mode now and get back to just me. And so that's pretty much how I, how I do it. Um, you want this system to be so, you want it to be so simple, especially at that at this early stage of learning it, because you really want to be uh, focused, get that, get that streaming already sorted. And you want to be focused on your actual Zoom on your actual Zoom meeting and be careful. You see how that I'm getting bigger and smaller? That's me kind of going, all right, I want to make my Zoom meeting bigger. So once the meeting started, this is where you can run into a bit of strife. So if I go uh, in, enter full screen there, you'll notice that I, um, I've gone enormous. So then I shrink it down and that might be one way if you've got enough monitors to achieve the best the best resolution and also whoop and also uh, I'll just drop that a little bit there right so that gives me a consistent thing but the the my other monitor is this is full size right so um, one more thing before I go and jump on the live stream and have a look, see if it works, is that on my home computer, where I've been setting the same thing up for evening kind of casual meetups and stuff like that, there is a much bigger delay. So by the time I see my voice, by the same, my, by hear my voice and see my image on the OBS, there's up to, sometimes up to, 300 milliseconds usually, but sometimes up to a thousand, and it changes. I haven't quite worked out what what's causing that, but you can set it simply by going to. I may as well show you. Uh, I'll go to display one and make it. Uh, I'll make it studio mode once again, so it's less upsetting. And so, if you see down here. Uh, the, the audio, the Rode 2020, what I do is I just do a little recording and advanced audio properties and there you go. So mine's currently set to minus 50 milliseconds, right? So the, so the, it doesn't say minus, so if you write 50 milliseconds, it's holding the audio back because the audio is having no problem getting through. The video is what sometimes struggles and all the different cameras might be different as well. So that is what I've got going on there. But at home, I've got that sometimes set to a thousand, which is ridiculous, but it, it still is usable as long as you're not relying on looking looking at your um, your screen, your OBS screen. If you're happy with that, just to stream out with a with a second delay, it's not going to hurt. Um, all right, well, that's about it. I'll give you a quick look at one more screen, and that's my PTZ camera, uh, which uh, it's a cool little domestic one called a Logitech PTZ Pro 2. Uh, it has, I've had loads of issues with it. Like, it, it, it has to be on autofocus pretty much, otherwise it, goes, it all goes pear-shaped, but it's kind of a handy thing to have for room stuff and you can sit there you don't have to jump up and keep moving the camera around when you feel you want to change the shot I'll demonstrate see I can just turn it around and zoom it in and out and stuff like that all right so I, I normally use that when I'm doing my stream pointed at the records so that I can if I've got a record playing I can go for a pee get something to eat have a little rest while the while there's still something happening on the stream so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed my little run through of how i uh how i plan on getting through this evening in this uh lockdown rock down um playing records and having a bit of a zoom chat all right thanks for sticking around all right bye-bye